Hello again. Welcome to uh, my fun quiz. This is uh, number 38. As usual, uh, all you need to complete the quiz, some paper, uh, grab yourself a pen or a pencil to write down your answers. It takes just over 30 minutes to complete in total. All the answers come at the end uh, of all the questions. So, uh, as usual, good luck and enjoy the quiz. Six rounds in this one. Food and drink, movies, the connection round, what connects all the answers, a sport round, geography, and as usual, to finish off, a pictures round. And eight questions in each round. So, on to round one then. Food and drink. Here we go. Question number one, simply, what is mulligatawny? Now, what is mulligatawny? Question two, what color is the flesh of an avocado? What color is the flesh of an avocado? That's question two. Question three. What type of food is pitta? What type of food is pitta? On to number four. What is a segment of garlic called? Question four. What is a segment of garlic called? Number five. What are the two main ingredients of a vinaigrette dressing? And what are the two main ingredients of a vinaigrette dressing? Question six. What is a volivant made from? What is a volivant made from? Number seven. What type of meat is brisket? What type of meat is brisket? And on to your final question for this round. Question eight. What is the top layer of a queen of puddings made from? Slightly more difficult if you've never had this. What is the top layer of a queen of puddings made from? That's question Number eight, which is the final one in our food and drink. So then on to round number two, movies. A question one on your movies round then. What was the first James Bond movie in 1962 starring Sean Connery? What was the first James Bond movie in 1962 starring Sean Connery? Question two, whose film biography was called Dragon? Whose film biography was called Dragon? Number three, 
What was the occupation of Harrison Ford's character in The Fugitive? So question three, what was the occupation of Harrison Ford's character in The Fugitive? Number four, oh, in which 1999 movie does Lawrence Fishburne say, you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in, in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Long question, short answer. So in which 99 movie does that take place? Okay, question number five. Which 1991 action movie is subtitled Judgment Day? You need to be specific. Which 1991 movie, action movie, is subtitled Judgment Day? That's question number five. Number six. In which decade does Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark take place? In which decade does Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark take place? Question seven. Who co-wrote and starred in Cliffhanger? in 1993. Who co-wrote and starred in Cliffhanger in 1993? And that brings us on to our final movies question number eight. Which means of transport dominates in Speed 2 Cruise Control? Which means of transport dominates in speed to cruise control? Okay, so round two over. On to round three, and it's our connection round. So what connects all the answers? Remember, your answer must fit the connection. Don't worry if you don't get the connection straight away, you'll get it as we go through the round, hopefully. So, your first question, number one. What is the surname of Jerry, who had four children with Mick Jagger? What is the surname of Jerry, who had four children with Mick Jagger? Okay, question two. What colour berets were worn by British commandos in World War II? What colour berets were worn by British commandos in World War II? Number three. What game is played on a snook table? but with only three balls. What game is played on a snooker table, but with only three balls? Okay, question four. A prune is what kind of dried fruit? So question four, a prune is what kind of dried fruit? So have you got the connection yet or do you still need more? Don't worry, a few more questions. So on to number five. What do Americans call a spanner? What 
What do Americans call a spanner? Six. What kind of blitz gave the suite a number two chart hit in 1973? What kind of blitz gave the sweet a number two chart hit in 1973? Still one more question if you haven't got the connection yet. And that question is number seven. In the rhyme rubber dub dub, the three men in the tub are the butcher, the baker and who else? In the rhyme, rubber dub dub, the three men in the tub are the butcher, the baker, and who else? Okay, and question eight then, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? Hopefully you've got the connection. Anyway, on to round four. And round four is sport. For first sports question, number one, what is the name of the rubber disc used in ice hockey? What is the name of the rubber disc used in ice hockey? Question two, who was the first athlete to run a sub four minute mile? Who was the first athlete to run a sub four minute mile? A few years ago now. Number three, what height should the top of a badminton net be? 1.5, 2 or 2.5 meters? What height should the top of a badminton net be? 1.5, 2 or 2.5 metres? Number four. Which premiership football clubs have the following nicknames? Eagles, Magpies and Seagulls. You get one point for each correct answer. Which premiership football clubs have the following nicknames? Eagles, Magpies and Seagulls. Nice little three pointer if you get them all right. OK, on to question five. Rugby's Five Nations Championship increased to Six Nations in the year 2000 with the addition of which country? Rugby's Five Nations Championship increased to Six Nations in the year 2000 with the addition of which country? And number six, how many players make up a curling team? How many players make up a curling team? That's question six. Question number seven. How often do tea, oh, how often how often do teams compete for the Ryder Cup? So how often do teams compete for the Ryder Cup? And question number eight. Which British driver won the 2009 Formula One World Championship with the team Braun? 
which British driver won the 2009 Formula One World Championship with the team Braun? So that's your final sport question. On to geography. So question number one for geography. In which country is the European Court of Justice? In which country would you find the European Court of Justice? That's question one. OK, on to question three. Which country has the most European neighbours? Is it Germany, Austria or Hungary? Which country has the most European neighbours? Germany, Austria or Hungary? Question four. In which country is Lake Garda? Question four, in which country is Lake Garda? Question five, which is the southernmost and largest of Greece's many islands? Is it Rhodes, Crete or Kos? Which is the southernmost and largest of Greece's many islands? Is it Rhodes, Crete or Kos? Question number six. By land area, which is the largest country in Scandinavia? Is it Finland, Norway or Sweden? By land area, which is the largest country in Scandinavia? Finland, Norway or Sweden? OK, on to question seven. In which European city is the largest church in the world? Now, in which European city is the largest church in the world? Question number seven. And that brings us finally to question eight, the end of the geography round. Bucharest is the capital city of which European country? Bucharest is the capital city of which European country? OK, on to our final round then for this quiz. Uh, as usual, your pictures round. So picture number one. Can you name this band? So can you name this band? Question two, what country has this national flag? So what country has this national flag? Question two. Number three. What is this pasta shape called? You may have your own name for it, but what is this pasta shape actually called? Question four. 
who is this person? So who is this person? Number five, what board game is this? Question five, what board game is this? And question six. Oh, can you name the movie from this picture? Can you name the movie? Question seven. What company is this the logo for? What company is this the logo for? And on to question eight. What did this advertise? What did this advertise so that's your final picture question and your final quiz question six rounds done and dusted i hope you've managed to answer them all one way or the other so let's see how well you've done let's go through the answers for you now so we'll start off with round one and this was our food and drink round so question one, what is mulligatawny? It is soup, nice spiced soup. Question number two, what color is the flesh of an avocado? It's green, quite a vivid green. Question three, what type of food is pitta? It's a bread. Question number four, what is a segment of garlic called? It's called a clove, clove of garlic. Number five, what are the two main ingredients of a vinaigrette dressing? You only get one point for this, so you need both to get just one point. Uh, it is vinegar and oil. They are the two main ingredients. Question six, what is a volivant made from? It's made from pastry. You don't have to be specific on the pastry, just as long as you put pastry. Question seven, what type of meat is brisket? It's uh, beef. Question number eight, what is the top layer of a queen of puddings made from? It's made from meringue, if you've ever had it. So that's food and drink. On to round two. Here's the answers for your movie questions. Number one, what was the first James Bond movie in 1962 starring Sean Connery? It was Doctor No. Question two, whose film biography was called Dragon? Bruce Lee, it was his biography. Number three, what was the occupation of Harrison Ford's character in The Fugitive? He was a doctor. Number four, big question, in which 1999 movie does Lawrence Fishburne say, you take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Of course, that's in the Matrix. 
if you've seen it. So question five, which 1991 action movie is subtitled Judgment Day? That's Terminator 2. You have to be specific with Terminator 2, not Terminator. Question six, in which decade does Indiana Jones Raider of the Lost Ark take place? It's in the 1930s. It's the run up to the war, Second World War. And question number seven, who co-wrote and starred in Cliffhanger in 1993? That was Sylvester Stallone. And your final movies question, number eight. Which means of transport dominates in speed to cruise control? And it is a ship. A rather large boat or oh, ship. OK, so that completes your movies round. On to round three, the connection round. Here we go. Question number one then. What is the surname of Jerry, who had four children with Mick Jagger? It's Hall. She was Jerry Hall. Number two. What colour berets were worn by British commandos in World War Two? And they were coloured green, green beret. Number three. What game is played on a snooker table, but with only three balls? That's billiards. And number four, a prune is what kind of dried fruit? It's a dried plum. Number five, what do Americans call a spanner or they call it a wrench? Number six, what kind of blitz gave the suite a number two chart hit in 1973? Ballroom blitz gave them a top two hit. Number seven, in the rhyme rubber dub dub, the three men in the tub are the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. If you know your nursery rhyme, candlestick was the word I was after there. So question eight then, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? They are all to do with the game Cluedo. So well done if you've got the connection, well done if you've got all the questions right. So on to round four, our sport round. Question one, what is the name of the rubber disc used in ice hockey? It's called a puck. Question two, who was the first athlete to run a sub four minute mile? Roger Bannister was the first one to run a mile in under four minutes. Number three, what height should the top of a badminton net be? It should be 1.5 meters, which is about four foot. Question four, one point for each here. Which Premiership football clubs have the following nicknames? Eagles, Magpies and Seagulls. Well, they are Crystal Palace, Newcastle United and Brighton. Or Brighton and Hove, Albion if you want, but Brighton. So, well then, if you've got all three of them. Question five. Rugby's Five Nations Championship increased to Six Nations in the year 2000 with the addition of which country? That was Italy. They become the sixth country. Number six, how many players make up a curling team? Four players make up a curling team. And number seven, how often do teams compete for the Ryder Cup? They compete every two years. Finally, number eight, which British driver won the 2009 Formula One World Championship with the team Braun? Jensen Button won it. 
So that completes sport. On to our geography round now. Question one. In which country is the European Court of Justice? It's in Luxembourg. Question two. Which Mediterranean island was the headquarters for the Knights of St. John? Malta is the island. Question three, which country has the most European neighbours? Germany, Austria, or Hungary? It's Germany, it has eight, eight borders. Number four, in which country is Lake Garda? It's in Italy, it's the largest lake in Italy. Popular holiday destination. Number five, which is the southernmost and largest of Greece's many islands? Rhodes, Crete or Cos? It's Crete. Number six, by land area, which is the largest country in Scandinavia? Finland, Norway or Sweden? It is in fact Sweden. And number seven, in which European city is the largest church in the world? And it's the Vatican City. So if you put Rome, you're wrong. It's actually Vatican City. OK, trick question. No. And your last question is round number eight. Bucharest is the capital city of which European country? It's the capital of Romania. Romania is where Dracula comes from. OK, on to our last round, so our picture round. Uh, question one then. Can you name this band? They are Slade, still going to this day, believe it or not. Question number two. What country has this national flag? It's the uh, Argentine national flag, Argentina. Question three. What is this pasta shape called? It's called Fusilli. Whatever you call it, but its actual name is Fusilli. Question four, who is this person? This person is Jensen Button, Formula One driver. Question five, what board game is this? That is Mousetrap. Now question six, can you name the movie from this picture? It is Fantastic Four. Number seven, what company is this the logo for? It's the logo for Bacardi, Bacardi Rum. And your final picture question. Number eight, what did this advertise? An advertised Aldi, the supermarket. Kevin the carrot always advertises Christmas. So there you are, all your questions. You've now had all your answers, so you can tot up and see how well you've done. Hopefully you've done quite well, and hopefully you've enjoyed yourself along the way. Bit of fun. So uh, that's it. That's uh, all it remains for me to say, as usual, is uh, thank you for taking part in the quiz. Lots of other quizzes on YouTube of mine, if you want to give them a try. If you enjoyed the quiz, please share it with others. The more, the merrier. And if you have any feedback about the quiz at all, please let me know, good or bad or otherwise. OK, so it just remains for me to say then thank you once again and hopefully see you at another quiz soon. So goodbye for now.